So I just talked about the importance of forgetting in the digital age. The truth is that all throughout human history, it was very easy for us humans to forget. Forgetting is built into our brains. It comes automatic. Uh, remembering is the hard part, and therefore remembering was reserved for those things that really were valuable enough for us to remember. Uh, the phonograph, paper, printing, nothing really changed that equation that remembering was the exception, forgetting was the default for human beings. In the digital age, that has changed. Today, remembering is the default, and forgetting has gotten forgotten. It has to do with the fact that the digital storage costs plummeted, uh, retrieval of information is very easy these days. And with the internet, we have a global distribution infrastructure that is able to deliver information uh, to any point in the world at e with ease. Um, so this should and ought to be um, a reason for celebration. If we cannot forget anymore, we don't forget where we parked our car on the shopping mall parking lot. Uh, we don't forget uh, anniversaries uh, and so on. Uh, there is a certain information efficiency to be gained by remembering. But equally importantly and overlooked, I believe, so far is that um, a world that cannot forget anymore also comes with significant weaknesses. Uh, some of them are attributed or linked to power, informational power, uh, something that we would call information privacy. Uh, but others are even starker and have to do with the, uh, the fact that we humans are really bad in um, putting events, past events, into a temporal perspective. For us, time is a really hard dimension to manage. Um, and so, with, in, a, in a world of comprehensive digital remembering, we might not only uh, fear that others have informational power over us and fear the repercussions, the consequences of that. For example, self-censorship, temporal panopticum, and these type of things that I just talked about. But we might also find ourselves in a world uh, in which we cannot no longer generalize, abstract, see the forest and not just the trees, because for all, for to do all of that, to generalize and to abstract, we need to get rid of details. We need to forget the details in order to see the big picture. And if we can't forget because all the information is constantly with us, uh, then indeed we might lose our ability to act and decide in time. And I'm quite worried about this, especially because the cognitive psychologists have found out that forgetting plays a central role in, our, in us being humans in us being able to live in the present and to act and to look into the future. And so I wonder what we can do to revive forgetting in the digital age. And in my, um, in my talk, I looked at various ways, legal and technological tools, to bring forgetting back. Um, but all of these have certain weaknesses. And so I suggested that uh, we needed to add something else to the mix uh, namely um, a revival of forgetting mechanisms to forget. And these include, uh, for example, expiration dates for information. And that is, information would be um, linked with expiration dates. If the expiration date is reached, the information, whether it's an image or a file, would be deleted from our systems. Um, and so I suggested in my talk that with um, mechanisms to mimic human forgetting in the digital age through our digital tools, we might be able to give uh, forgetting another chance and to move from a comprehensively remembering society with all its pitfalls and problems and challenges towards a more humane society that continues to enable forgetting.